What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. So if you missed it, guys, Mitchell Watts that owns Town & Country Ford down in Bessemer, Alabama, also TC Customs, he actually gave Sam a six inch lifted truck. We were lying, guys. Not forever, forever gave, but he wanted us to do a long-term review on a lifted truck. This is that review. In this video, Sam's gonna tell you what he loves and hates about daily driving a six inch lifted truck after one month and 1,000 miles. So let me set the stage for you guys and where I'm coming from. I daily drive a 21 F-150 and it has a two and a half inch leveling kit on it. And you know, that's shocks and struts and that sort of thing, not just a puck. So I kind of know what it's like to have a little bit better suspension on my vehicle. I think you need to mention it has a Whipple supercharger on it. Oh yeah, it's got a Whipple supercharger <laughs> on it too. So I'm used to going fast and having lots of power. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys, if you like superchargers. Now, I also get to drive Brad's 2018 F-150 quite often. You guys know it as the Wolf. And it's got a three inch drop in the front and a five inch drop in the rear. I mean, this thing is sitting about as low as you can possibly get a vehicle. Well, you could drop it lower but I mean, it's already about two inches off the ground up here at the front. And you're not gonna drive down the road any lower than this without just hitting on everything all the time. This is as low as you can go and still be functional. So Sam's been driving this 21 F-150. It's an XLT line. It's got a six inch Fabtech lift and 35 inch Netto Ridge Grappler tires, among a lot of other mods that probably don't have anything to do with this review. But I will put a link to the full video from where we picked this truck up down in Bessemer with Mitchell, and we went over every single modification on this TC Customs build. I'll also list every single part and a link to that part down in the description. So let's go love, hate, love, hate, until I'll run out of stuff to tell you guys about this thing. So first off, I love this truck because of the six inch lift and the way it looks. And that's why you do it, is for the looks. I mean, let's be real guys. I mean, most of you guys, want a lifted truck for the looks and according to everybody that sees this truck they like it too you get lots of thumbs ups heck yeah man nice truck you know a lot of that when you have this big of a lift people know you spent that extra money went the extra mile on a full lift kit and they respect that and it, the looks of this is just why you do it to begin with i hate that the steering wheel it doesn't have a shake, it doesn't shimmy, it's not like it's an old vehicle with a lot of slop, but with these big wheels and tires and the lift, you do get just a little bit of vibration in it, and you know, at 80 miles an hour on the interstate, even on a smooth section, you can feel it just a little bit. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if this thing needs, you know, the wheel weight fell off of it or whatever, maybe that's the problem. Um, but I do know that our old 96 Bronco with a six inch lift, you know, that thing was uh, built the year I graduated high school. So it's seen better days. It's had a lift on it for a very long time and it's pretty ragged out now. You're gonna put a lot more stress on your suspension components, your steering components, all of those joints and everything underneath. And it's gonna wear out quicker over time. I don't know if this is the start of that this quickly or it's just a, a tire weight, like I said. Make sure you comment down below if any of you guys have that problem with a brand new lift. Does it have just the tiniest shimmy in the steering wheel from the get-go? So this is one big thing that I love, and I wasn't expecting it, but I love sitting up really high in this thing and being able to see all of the road. I mean, you feel in command when you're sitting up this high. You can see way, way, way many cars in front of you. You just you feel like you're above everybody else except for the truckers. and. Um, you know, having a lifted truck, I guess that's what it's all about, is sitting up that high and feeling like you are the biggest truck on the road. Now, I know you guys have strong opinions. You always do in the comments. So let us know what do you love and what do you hate about a lifted truck? I hate 
that you can't run a lifted truck through almost every car wash out there, guys. Now, I'm a clean freak. I like to keep my trucks clean all the time. This right here would not be on my truck. This right here is a problem to me. I like to be able to run my truck through the car wash as soon as the sun comes out after it rains. Without fail, that's what happens with my truck. This one, on the other hand, it's gotta be hand washed. And I mean, we're talking, you're gonna need a ladder to get the top of this thing. Well, I mean, you would, I mean, Mitchell wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not 6'3", guys. No. <laughs> if you I step mean, up there, what is it You can't get up here. Can you get on up? No, yeah, you're gonna have to stand in here on your plastic, and I would do that maybe in mine, but this is not my truck, so I'm not gonna stomp all over the plastic here. It's problematic to get to the top, and you guys know, to get to the center of the hood with a mitt is pretty tough. It's really tough with this lift. I mean, you're probably gonna be taking that mitt and swapping it out there. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you go with a six inch lift, washing a truck becomes a real job, not just a chore. Y'all do me a favor, crush him down in the comments for complaining about having to hand wash his truck. He is a driving through a car wash kind of guy. I don't do that kind of thing. I'm not on that. So just hammer him for me. I love getting into this truck because of these amp research steps. If it didn't have them, we'd have a problem. But these are spaced out well. Hop up here, get right in. I mean, that's about as easy as it gets. That's easier than dropping down into a sports car. Um, you know, your average truck is probably a little tiny, tiny bit easier, but this makes a lifted truck not a problem at all. Now, I want to see you get in it without using the step. Like, step down and just yeah. try throwing your leg up in there. Six inch lift, so, I mean, 35. It, so you got to go put your leg up Yank and give it wheel. the hop. And, uh, you know, when you do that over time, your steering wheel starts to get that slop in it. Maybe not while you own it, but the next owner is going to have that problem. No, Sam, man, you can grab this thing. Remember when we made oh, that yeah, video? That, oh, yeah. You're supposed to grab this. Let me try that. So, I guess you can put this, put your left foot up, grab that, and you're in here. Okay. You can do it without grabbing the steering wheel. But I like grabbing the steering wheel. So, obviously, these amp research steps are an upgrade, and they're not cheap. If you've got your standard step, it's going to be up here a little bit higher. Um, it's going to be a little bit more awkward coming in and out um, because it's going to be, what, four or five inches higher than these steps that drop down. So when you're building your truck and figuring out what you want, if you're putting together a lifted truck and all your options, if you're going to do that six inch lift, you better look at these steps. Now, if you watch our channel often, you're probably wondering where is Sam's 21 F-150 with the supercharger? Why haven't we been making videos with that? We hope to be able to tell you that in two to three weeks. And I will say it's really juicy. I will say it's a doozy. I'll give you a hint. It's not to do an upgrade because that thing's pretty pegged out on power right now. Um, but it's a story that you're gonna wanna hear. To make sure you don't miss that, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn the notification bell up. Hopefully in three to four videos, that'll be dropping and you'll know everything that we know that we wish we didn't know. So, hate is a strong word, so I'm gonna say I don't like working out of this truck. And what I mean by that, since I've borrowed this from Mitchell, I've had to cut back on some of my normal day-to-day -day activities. I'm on my tiptoes right now, if you can't <laughs> tell just so I can see over this thing. It's a little bit higher, obviously, which makes it a little bit less convenient. I've had to change my habits a lot, and you know, I've had to be nice to this bed because they don't have it sprayed yet. I think they plan on spraying this before it's sold, but uh, you know, it's just a little bit of dirt in here. It'll, it'll clean off, I promise, Mitchell. I flip houses for a living, and so I do have to make runs, pick up some stuff, deliver it, um, you know, make a run to home depot you know what i'm talking about on a regular truck this thing being down just a little bit more makes it a little easier to grab stuff and, and you know this is me on my tippy toes throwing my belly on here i can only get to like right here and when you're down a little bit more you can kind of scooch on up there and grab something out of the back once something slides to the back in this truck, it's very hard to get to. I want to show them something. And as you can see, when you like, put this step down, here, 
You're a long ways. Oh. I mean, it's a it's, long ways. Flip your leg up. Yeah, this is, this is a must if you buy a six inch lifted truck. No kidding, guys. I mean, you gotta get it on up there. You know, I mean, it's I mean, obviously doable, but it's a whole lot different than if it's on a regular size truck. Um, and getting the stuff that gets back into here, you really need to open that thing, climb up in here and get it. Cause you can't just throw your arm over and reach all the way down in here when it slides up. So that's something to consider. I mean, you can forget about reaching in here and getting something from that front corner. I mean, that's on my tippy toes. You're gonna have to pull the old hop up on the tire and all that jazz. So practicality is not the name of the game with this lift. I love being able to run a 35 inch tall tire and I'm, I was excited to try out 35s and see what that would do as performance and, and that sort of thing. I expected it to make the truck feel a little sluggish because these are big, huge, heavy tires, um, but it didn't. Um, let me say that I'm used to driving my supercharged truck, but I drive plenty of other vehicles. Comparing this truck to a truck with factory tires or maybe a 33, I can't really tell a huge difference. It's not like it's just so sluggish, it, it, it's undrivable or that sort of thing. I was really surprised. You've got to have a six inch lift so you can put 35s on your truck. I take that back. You can put 35s on your truck if you keep your factory wheels and that offset, but if you want to have a little bit of poke and get it on out here and for them to clear without rubbing anything, you're gonna have to get the six inch lift. Really impressed that these don't slow you down that much. You can't feel it as much as I thought you would. I'm not gonna say you can't feel it at all, but they're just not as sluggish as I thought it would be. One other thing I wanna mention about these tires, you know, with a level truck, 33s is that sweet spot for the look and the stance of it and everything. With a six inch lift, you're gonna to need to go to these 35 inch tall tires or you're gonna look a little funny if you don't. Um, we've seen people do that in the past. It just looks like you need bigger tires. This right here is what you want with a six inch lift. So, something that I hate. I hate that I can't park this thing in a parking garage. Well, most parking garages. I'm sure there are a few that this thing might fit in. But, you know, I live in the metropolis of Knoxville, Tennessee, and there's probably three parking garages in town that I can't park this in. But in all seriousness, guys, you know, you've got to keep that in mind if you do live in a place where, you know, you go downtown and there's mostly garage parking. Um, you know, that's gonna be something you gotta deal with. You can't just pull up and, and uh, hope that you can pull in there and end up peeling the cab off. Keep that in mind. So a love and hate all at the same time. I love how this truck handles now, the suspension on it, and I hate it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it is stiffer than stock. So actually going around curves, even though this thing is lifted, when you're behind the steering wheel, you feel like this thing has better handling capabilities than it did from stock. But everybody else that's in the truck with you, since they're, <laughs> since they're sitting up this much higher, feels like they're getting slung around a lot more because they are. That center of gravity gets higher, and so things sling around a little bit more, especially people and occupants in the truck. Um, I do like the way this rides. Fabtech did a great job with this kit. Um, no complaints there. It's just when you get a lifted truck, you do have a whole lot more going on when you're going through the twisties. So just for giggles, let's compare a factory truck versus the six inch lift. Now I know this one's a 21, this is a 2019, but this is an FX4 off-road uh, with factory everything. And here in the front, we're about close to 36 and three quarter inches. Over here on the lifted truck though, we're all the way up to like 44 and a quarter. That's like seven or eight inches more than the factory. So that's more than a six inch lift in the front. Um, and you know, part of that's the tires as well. Let's look at the back. So back here in the back on a factory truck, you're around 39 and a quarter, almost 39 and a half. Over here, 
you're going to be... Got to keep him honest, make sure you don't lift it. You're uh, about 46 inches. What is that? Uh, right at six, six, and, six and a half inches. One thing to note is you're not going to gain a ton of ground clearance everywhere. You are in certain places, but that rear axle doesn't move very much compared to a factory truck. So that's going to be the lowest point when you have a six inch lift. You do get your suspension up in the front, but that rear axle, it don't move very much. Something to think about. If you want to support the channel, go to shopbackroaddriver.com. I'll put a link down in the description. You can grab you some shirts, some hats, some stickers, whatever. It helps us out. If you want to see a lot more F-150 content, check out my build playlist. It's going to be right in here. Right over my and face. And lots of content there for you guys. Every video for every mod done on Sam's truck, and it's a pretty sick truck. I mean, it's no wolf over here. But, <laughs> but I mean, it is the hammer. It is the hammer. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.